Last time we got this thing jacked up a little bit farther into the air to work on the brake lines here in the rear, so let's get to it. We got this thing jacked up pretty far last time, but I think I'm gonna have to get it a little bit farther. Um, after I finished filming, I got up under the car a little bit and I got plenty of space, but I can't like, there's not enough space to get the gas tank lowered down and all that. So um, I wanna get it up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna jack it up a little bit higher and uh, we should be good to go after that. I had this thing up all the way uh, on these jack stands when we were doing the rear uh, restoration. So I know I can get it high enough. I just gotta get it there. <laughs> I may have to open this door to get my, to get my cranks on the jack, you know? Under here, pull the pin, raise the rod, and huzzah, plenty of space. Meow, all we gotta do is work with these rear brake lines here. Um, if you're just joining us, uh, we did this brake line kit from Finishing Lines. They're all stainless steel lines. So when I ordered it, I didn't realize it, but this is a full kit, so it goes all the way back to the rear. And so we gotta drop the tank a little bit to get this line here uh, to go over to here and mount it in place and all that under the car. Uh, we do have these hard lines still on here from before, so that's also one reason why the tank has to come down because we gotta get those off of there. And so hopefully this is a pretty simple and easy process, but we will figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have to drop this cat back down a little bit. Man, that's dusty, uh, but that's no big deal. So I guess first things first would be to get these brake calipers off. Uh, get these lines unhooked from all that, and then we should be good to start unbolting and all that kind of stuff, um, and then we can get to the gas tank later. My plan is to drop the gas tank just a little bit, not all the way down. And then on the inside of the Evo, if you're unfamiliar, under the rear seat, there's two little panels that you can get under there with. Um, that's how you access the gas tank for like the fuel pump hanger, all that kind of stuff. And so I'm thinking if I drop it a little bit, I can drop that tank down and then I can go in from up there and get to the uh, two little brackets that hold this hard line on and we should be able to get it off that way. Crossing my fingers that my plan works. Don't know if it will, but uh, like I said, we'll see when we get there. That wasn't so bad. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like that should be tighter. <laughs> and then up here, same thing, and there we go. Now, the good thing is, is we're also replacing, I already put stainless lines from the hard line to the caliper, but we're replacing those lines as well with the finishing lines kit so everything matches and looks ideal. Um, so, gotta get that line removed as well. These hard lines were super corroded and rusted. I tried to do the best I could with these things. I Cerakoted them and all that kind of stuff, but they were still pretty nasty. So I'm actually really glad. I don't even know, that's gonna strip. I don't even know if I can get this thing off of here. Dude, can I rotate that now? Okay, there we go. Damn, I was like, I'm not even gonna be able to, I'm gonna have to get like a vice grip to, <laughs> to hold this thing. There shouldn't be any brake fluid in this thing thing, but I could be wrong, so I guess we're about to find out, huh? Dry as a bone. Now, off you come, and we are, whoops, golden. I think, judging by the size of this little bolt here for this bracket, I might have some titanium <laughs> that will fit that. I'm willing to bet this is like an M6, and I'm pretty sure I've got some of those over there. Let's get under the car and uh, let's drop this tank just a skosh. I'm gonna put these jack stands under the car and I'm gonna raise them up to hopefully hold the tank should it uh, decide to drop more than I want it to. And I am also going to, I did this in the front of the car and it seemed to work out okay. I'm gonna mount you guys my, my microphone up on the frame somewhere and hopefully that works out and you can hear everything. So there's four bolts that hold on the gas tank, or four nuts I should say, sorry. I'm gonna loosen them up just enough to where it like drops down on the studs a little bit. And I don't know exactly if it's gonna allow me to do what I wanna do. I hope so, because if I remember correctly, this gas tank was a absolute pain in the ass to get up there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this thing is dropping far enough. I'm hoping I don't have to drop this thing all the way down. God dang, I hope I don't have to take it down. 
everything. Oh boy, this might be a larger pain than previously anticipated. If I do have to drop this whole tank, I hope I don't have to drop the subframe because these tabs look like they go, <laughs> they go under the friggin' subframe. Shit, fellas. I mean, that's a pretty good amount of, of droppage, but is it enough? I can remember when there was a time when this whole rear end was out on the floor. The gas tank is almost to the point to where I can probably get it down enough, but we are still Son of a bitch, this side is also doing the same friggin' thing. See, this is why I ultimately wanted to change these brake, woo, these brake lines a long time ago. But at the time, I wasn't aware of this stainless kit, or I would have done it many moons ago. And while we were doing this rear end, we could have gotten all this taken care of. But, you know what? As we always say, you live and you learn. And I am learning today. <laughs> You gonna learn today. Okay, it's been a couple hours just getting everything off and loose and moving and <laughs> just everything. But we finally got to a point uh, on the passenger side where I think I can get a wrench in there and loosen the little bracket that holds this brake line right here on. Uh, there are two of them, one on this side and one on the other. I think the gas tank, I mean, obviously it's down, so I'm, like it's, it's loose, it's out, so um, I'm just trying to maneuver my way around in there now to get that little bracket off. You can't really see it in there, but it's it's pretty close right there. So I'm gonna try to do that and uh, get these things finally off of here. Uh, this has been this has been a job, uh, but has to be done. And I can't really show you guys. There's, it's just too tight and there's too much happening up in there. Uh, to be able to show you a good angle. So once I get one of them off, I'm gonna try to get the other one and then just get it on there and get this thing back up into the car because um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff just hanging right now. <laughs> now if I can just get myself, all oh, right there, I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Now how the frig am I gonna get to that? Okay, don't know if you can see it or not, but we got my arm all the way up under there. Uh, cut it in a few places, but we got all the way up in there. We got the other bracket off. So now all we gotta do is snake this stupid brake line uh, through everything and get it out the other side. And then, holy crap, we can start putting stuff back together and get this thing all hosed up. Whew, we finally got all of those brake lines out of there. Um, I ultimately had to end up doing what I didn't wanna do and cutting them off. Um, they were just, I mean, if you've ever been under here and you see the brake lines, they are very closely formed to the body. And so trying to get those things out of there, uh, like snaking it through, was just not happening. And I was not gonna be under there uh, scratching up everything that we've done and potentially messing up things under there. So I just cut it on each end, pulled them out, and um, yeah, those lines are out. We got the other line kind of run through here. I gotta figure out how to route it. I have the gas tank like almost all the way up into there. It's just, uh, there's not, it's not setting right on one of the sides. I gotta figure out how to maneuver it around, but um, yeah. Moving right along, making lots of progress, and uh, yeah, this has been one one hell of a job. I think I said it earlier, but man. <laughs> I thought I would bring you guys along with uh, bolting back up this gas tank. I've uh, got two bolts in it. My little, my little cart broke. I think I mentioned it earlier, but if not, my little cart broke, so I can't like roll around anymore. I keep getting little pieces of metal in my back because of the uh, the grinding wheels we used. We'd fling stuff all over the place and it's just all over the floor. I keep finding it, it's been like a year. I just live with it now. But <laughs> oh, this has been such, trying to get this brake line through to the other side and all that has just been such an ordeal. Thought I had it on earlier and it was, uh, it was in a bind, but uh, Let's try this. Oh yeah. Now it moves, it moves freely throughout the top of the gas tank and the uh, gas tank's bolted in now. So what happened was this side got, um, it was like the line had fell down and it was like pinched in there. So I couldn't bolt it on all the way. Now we got it. So now I gotta go through, <laughs> caterpillar my way 
<laughs> around, get this stuff bolted back to the car, get everything on the underside here tight, and then make sure we don't have any other kinks anywhere, nothing like that. I do need to order, I want to order some bolts and some nuts. Uh, surprise, right? Because these nuts on the gas tank where the uh, sockets and stuff took the Cerakote off, um, obviously, you know, Cerakoting hardware is very hard to do, and I did it, uh, Probably not the proper way with like sandblasting and everything. I just kind of like scuffed it up best I could and uh, it's already starting to show some surface rust. So uh, we're going to replace as much as I can under here with titanium or whatever. Where's my shit? Oh, it's all the way over there. Ow! These little pieces of metal are killing me. Um, I don't know how this video is going to even turn out, but <laughs> it, uh, I've been dreading this task since I first learned that I was gonna have to do this task. More tightening. Uh, 19, is that what you are? Yes. Sorry, what the fuck? Okay, good grief. <laughs> Tell me this thing still moves. Ah, uh, it does very, very freely. You love to see it. Might go up and around right here. I hope this thing fits. Please fit. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Maybe. Please. <laughs> if I could just get my finger on it. Rotate. Got it. Okay. Up and around. And there you have it. <sighs> Last spring on the Tomei. Exhaust is back on. Let me see here. Let me see here. Ah, oh, shit. No, I could probably get to that with a torque wrench. I was like, did I really just block that bolt that I need to get to later? It'll take some cleaning up, but uh, we're coming along nicely. All right, so it's been a couple days and I would like to get back to where I left off. So um, all that's left to do to finish this finishing lines kit is install these lines right here. These go from the actual lines themselves down to the caliper and uh, yeah, should be pretty simple to do. So let's go ahead and get these things cut open, unwrapped and we'll get them onto the car and then we can move on to some other goodies. Right up in here. Thread, 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 thread. And there we are. And then this thing can uh, loop around this way. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do the same thing to all the rear and the other side and uh, we can move on to putting on calipers, etc., etc. So if you've been watching the videos, you'll know that we have a white Tacoma out in the driveway that we're gonna be doing like a kind of drifty style kind of build. And so on those trucks, you can do like a big brake kit and what they do is, is you buy a Cadillac ATS Brembo brake caliper and that bolts directly to the truck. And then they're running Evo rotors on the front of those things. And so we have the StopTech rotors we had on the car. And so um, you may have noticed the rotors, they've been sitting around for a while. And so they're a little bit orange, they're kind of surface rusty, all that kind of stuff. And so I figured um, instead of trying to clean those up super well right now, um, I could use those StopTech rotors for the front of the truck and then we can upgrade the ones on the car because since doing those brakes and all that, um, goals and everything with the car has definitely changed. The quality of the build has definitely changed. And so with all that being said, I wanted some rotors to match what we got going on here right now. So we went ahead and picked up a full set of DBA rotors and I could not be more excited to get these things onto the car. They're gonna look so awesome on there. They're gonna perform awesome on there. Um, they're all bagged up right now. I can't really show you guys how they look, but um, I'm sure you already know. But yeah, let's get them out of the bag and onto the car and take a look. These things look incredible. I got this thing all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get it on here and see how it looks. And oh my word, that is a massive rotor. Um, that looks amazing. <laughs> I'm going ahead and putting on our fancy Blurple Muteki lug nuts. I have had these things for, I don't even know how long. I got these things so long ago. Um, in preparation for just a, a solid build. And um, yeah, this is the this is the time to put them on. And man, these things just look so good. I mean, all this looks so good. I'm honestly a little bit mind blown right now just looking at all this and seeing everything onto the car. Um, it's just been such a long time coming and uh, yeah, just insane. <laughs> um, yeah, the rear looks just as good as the front does. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. Cannot get over 
how well this stuff all looks together. I went ahead and went through and cleaned up the calipers and all that. They had tons of brake dust and stuff on them and they'd just been sitting for a while. And uh, to be honest, I'm not 100% like, I'm not a big fan of what I'm seeing on these calipers from the powder coating job that was done. Um, the clear is starting to separate back here where the, uh, like where the nozzle goes in and all that kind of stuff. Um, so probably not right now, obviously, but um, in the near future, I'm probably going to end up uh, re-powder coating these things. I, uh, I don't know that this color is what we're going for either anymore, so um, I'll probably end up redoing these things, but uh, that'll be at a different time. I just, like I said, I want to get this thing going and running and all that stuff, and we can do that at any time, really. So let's get this uh, brake caliper on here. But um, yeah, there it is. Caliper is on. <laughs> and we're probably gonna get some brake fluid out of this. Yep, there it comes. That's quite a bit of brake fluid, actually. Way more than anticipated. <laughs> All right, I guess the whole caliper would be full, so kind of makes sense. Holy shit, there's so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna let this drain out for a minute. <laughs> All right, got everything ran. This little line runs right through here, zigzags around where it's supposed to, and boom, right under there. Looks super, super clean. Love it. So we laid around for quite a while and we got a lot done. So we went through and got all of the lines underneath the car secured and zip tied together um, until I can get some line separators or some more fancier clamps, stuff like that. That will work for now. Uh, but we got everything under there. I actually had to remove the uh, oil feed line and return line from the top because there was a little twist in it. So I had to get that out. But um, aside from that, we got everything under here looking nice and neat. With all of that being done and said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this thing off here. We got so much done on this thing. Um, having the brakes done and all that, we basically only have fluids, the dash, and some other little buttoning up to do, and we're good to go with this thing. First start is right around the corner, and I'm getting very, very excited, very, very nervous, um, but thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I do appreciate it very, very much. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about everything we have going on here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.